हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर काशीनाथ नेहरकर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर श्री शिवाजी लॉ कॉलेज परभनी फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल लॉ एजुकेशन वॉलेंटियर डॉक्टर काशीनाथ नेहरकर एट लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन इनकम टैक्स लॉज फ्रेंड्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड प्रेस बिल आइकॉन टू रिसीव द नोटिफिकेशंस रिलेटिंग टू लीगल नॉलेज वीडियोस फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्स इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स एंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डायरेक्ट टैक्स एंड इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स फ्रेंड्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ टैक्स The tax is nothing but the compulsory contribution to government to raise fund for government activities, and the government can levy and collect the tax through its inherent power. The government can make laws, and with the help of such laws, the government can levy, collect the tax. So, government levy and collect the tax through legislation. by providing legal system and these taxes may be either direct taxes or indirect tax we are going to discuss these two concepts firstly firstly we are going to discuss what is concept of direct tax friends the direct tax is the tax which is directly paid to government this is a general definition you cannot find such a definition in a any law relating to tax but this is the statement that is given to understand you what is the what is the reason why it is called as a direct tax because the tax payer directly pays it to government see this tax is levied on persons income and wealth directly this tax is levied on persons income and wealth directly so the burden of payment of such tax cannot be shifted from one person to another person when any particular person how a particular income and because of that he is liable to pay tax it is his responsibility to pay tax he cannot shift he cannot transfer his liability on other person it is individual liability and he has to perform it so this tax is progressive in nature and it increases with the increase of income or wealth or it is vice versa therefore the direct tax is always progressive in nature because the liability to pay tax is dependent upon how your income progresses how your wealth progresses and therefore it is levied on the basis of paying capacity of person see it means the more tax is collected from rich and less tax is collected from the poor people so on the basis of paying capacity you have to pay tax if you have higher paying capacity you have to pay high tax if you have very less paying capacity you have to pay less uh, tax and some examples of such tax are like the income tax wealth tax property tax corporate tax import and export duties etc so these are some forms of taxes that can be called as a direct tax but you must remember that these taxes are directly paid to government by the tax payer there is nobody who works as a mediate who will collect tax from individual and will pay to government the tax there is direct tax liability now we are going to discuss what is indirect tax friends similarly like indirect tax here also indirect tax is the tax which is paid indirectly to government through mediator here the a particular person is liable to pay tax but he do not directly pay it to government but he pays same with the mediator from uh, with whom he enters into any transaction etc then it is responsibility of that person who collects tax from that person to pay it to government therefore it is called as indirect tax it is paid by that person not directly to government but through the channel that channel may be the dealer distributor whoever the person is 
see therefore this is the tax on transaction and consumables this tax is not generally imposed upon the income or the wealth of that person but this tax is imposed upon transactions that are done by particular individual or what he consumes what he purchases things for his consume the indirect tax is referred to a tax on a person who 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 consumes goods and services so consumption of goods and services is subject matter of indirect tax or the subject matter of indirect tax is nothing but what transactions that are made by individuals therefore the burden of tax or the burden of payment of indirect tax can be easily shifted from one person to another person as you know the consumer who purchases mobile he pays tax on purchase of that mobile but he pays the price of that mobile as well as the tax liability for the purchase of mobile to a shopkeeper and then it is responsibility of shopkeeper to pay it towards the government so here you can see the tax is paid by the consumer but it is paid through shopkeeper to government not directly to government but uh, in case of direct tax we can see we pay income tax to government directly uh, see the da this indirect tax is a regressive in nature the amount of taxes increases the demand for goods and services or it decreases vice versa it levies on every person on basis of equality and there is no difference of rich and poor so this tax is not paid on the basis of paying capacity uh, some of the example of this tax are the central sales tax value added tax act service tax act but nowadays it is gst gst is the major form of indirect tax today so friends uh, this is how we have discussed what is the concept of direct tax indirect tax to remember it direct tax means the tax which is paid by taxpayer to government directly for example income tax act income tax and indirect tax means the tax which is paid by payer through the channel not directly to government for example gst now we must see what is, what are the differences between the direct tax and indirect taxes the first difference between direct tax and indirect tax is the tax which is paid by a person on whom it is levied is known as a direct tax so it is the uh, in direct tax taxpayer directly pays tax to government but in indirect tax it is paid by a taxpayer indirectly therefore it is known as a indirect tax this is the first difference it means how it is paid in direct tax it is paid directly in indirect tax it is paid indirectly then next difference is the direct tax is levied on persons income and wealth direct tax is generally levied on persons income and wealth by consider what is his income what is his wealth etc but indirect tax is levied on person who consumes goods and services it means this tax is levied on transactions that person enters into then next difference is in direct tax the burden of direct tax is not transferable it cannot be shifted but in indirect tax the burden of payment of tax can be easily shifted it can be easily shifted then fourth incidence is or fourth point of difference is Uh, the incidence and impact of direct tax falls on the same person in direct tax incidence and impact of direct tax falls on same person it means the it is responsibility of that person to pay the tax and if he fails to do 
he will be punished directly but in indirect tax the incidence and impact of that tax falls on different person it and it falls upon the person who is responsible for collection and payment of tax and it is not on the person who makes the transactions and for which he is liable to pay tax then next difference is the evasion of direct tax is possible in case if the proper administration is not there or if the collection of the tax is not done there but uh, in evasion of uh, tax is not possible because the amount of tax is charged on goods and services then sixth difference is the direct tax is levied on persons that is individuals hindu undivided family company etc but the indirect tax is levied on consumers of goods and services then next difference is direct taxes helps in reducing inflation direct taxes helps in reducing inflation inflation uh, you know what is the concept of inflation it increases the cost but the indirect taxes sometime promotes inflation see here the reduction of inflation is that because the uh, if the tax liability is increased the person has to pay the share of his income to government which can be utilized for the purchases etc therefore it reduces the paying uh, purchasing capacity of taxpayer but uh, in direct tax that promotes the inflation because of that because of that tax the amount or the per price of that goods uh, goods can be increased therefore it promotes the inflation the next point is direct tax is collected when the income for the financial year is earned or attest uh, assets are valued at the date of valuation so that is the time when the direct tax is collected but in case of indirect taxes it is collected when the transaction of purchase sale etc that is completed so Uh, this is also the basic difference because uh, in case of income tax the person is li liable to pay tax annually except in certain circumstances when there is a tax deduction at source or in case of wealth tax when the value of his wealth is uh, counted on particular date but this is not the same case with indirect tax and uh, for example gst is payable by every consumer at every instance uh, at when he uh, purchases something or he transfers something etc and lastly the direct tax is imposed and collected from assessee itself but and that assessee is tax payer but in indirect taxes it is imposed and collected from the consumer but it is deposited by dealer to government so here the liability to pay to government is uh, on different person in indirect tax right in direct tax as liability to pay tax is on same person who is liable to pay tax but in indirect taxes liability to pay tax to government is not on the person who is liable to pay tax that is consumer but it is on different person that is the person who is responsible for the collection for example the seller etc and it is his responsibility to deposit uh, the same amount to government so friends uh, therefore you must understand these two concept what is direct tax indirect tax and you must remember the points of difference so friends if you like this video please like it share it and do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you friends